No matter how much you plan your video, you can't predict the weather. So a sky replacement is a great way to change the look and vibe of a shot. And you can also use it to add some creativity to your videos. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need for this effect is your original footage that you don't like the sky of and a picture of some new sky that you would like to merge together. But when you're picking out your new sky, make sure to pay attention to some details from your original sky, such as the cloud density and the sun placement, because these things will need to match because otherwise, no matter how many effects you put on it, it won't look realistic. Now in the live stream, we actually use NVIDIA Canvas AI to draw our own skies to use, but this isn't a necessary step. You can use any existing sky photo. So doing this on a static shot is much easier and that's going to be what I'm demoing today but if you're interested in how to do this on a moving shot then you can check out the live stream because Javert goes into details of how to use Mocha Hit Film and Foundry Camera Tracker to track your sky into your footage. But other than that the steps are exactly the same. So I have here both my footage and my sky imported into Hit Film so the first thing I'm going to do is right click on my footage and turn it into a composite shot. Next you just add a luminance key to the footage and set it to key out brighter. So you can just go in and adjust the number to remove the sky. After you've done that, just add the matte cleaner effect on there and adjust the feather a little bit just to blur the edges. Then I just duplicated the footage on the timeline by just dragging the footage out again and putting it under the one that I just worked on. Then just use the rectangle mask tool to just draw a square over the bottom half of my footage up to the horizon. This just makes sure that you can bring back some of those bits of footage that had been lost by the luminance key. So luminance key will key out all of the brighter parts of the footage and some of those stones have got some little bright little shiny parts on there. So that just brings that back. So after you've done that, you are left with your footage with the sky missing. So the next step is to drag in your photo of the sky that you would like instead onto the timeline. And from here, you can just play with the position and the scale tools just to put the sky in the place that you'd like it to be. The next thing is to do a little bit of color correction on your new sky. So what I did was just grab the curves effect, drag it on and lowered the red channel ever so slightly just to make them match. These steps will differ from yours because obviously you will have different footage, you'll have a different sky, but basically go through and correct the sky to make it match your original footage. Then add a blur effect to your clouds so that you can match the focus. Obviously the clouds are a lot further away, so they're gonna be more out of focus. In mine here, I'm just matching to the ship in the background. So then I went back to the original piece of footage right at the top where I did the luminance key and added the light wrap effect and set the source layer to the cloud pictures. So what this does is it takes the light and color from the cloud picture and just wraps it around the edges of the other footage just to make them blend a little bit better. And you can see it here on the person how it just makes him fit in the scene a bit better. So next up's a bit of overall color grading. So this will obviously differ your footage to mine, but what I did was just create a new grade clip layer and I added the curves effect on there just to add a little bit of contrast in there. And then I went into the blue channel and just brought that down ever so slightly and gave it this kind of greeny tinge. And then for your final step, you just wanna add your extra effects in there just to kind of stylize and blend the two things together even more. So that's your glow effect like I've just added, but it's also lens flares, lens dirts, all that kind of stuff just to kind of play around and make it look like it was all one natural scene. And then after you're done adding on these extra stylized effects, then you're finished. You've got a piece of footage with a brand new sky in that looks pretty realistic if you ask me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, then please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. We make a wide variety of different video editing tutorials for all ability levels, and we would love to have you as a part of our community. I will see you next time.